Hey guys, it's Kim, and I got in the Timu order. It's huge, so it's going to be three parts. Um, they sent me some items so that I so that I could share them with you guys. So that's what I'm doing today. At least part. This will be part one, and this part is craft items. So I thought I would share those. It might be a two-part craft item because you know I order a lot of stuff. But there will be a code below for if you're a first-time user, 30% off your first order. And also, um, because it's through them, they provide the links and description, you know, to the items. So it's not up to me to have to do that. So you'll get those two prices, all of that stuff. So I wanted to share what I got. So this leaf dot, or stamp set, gorgeous. And the, let's see, I had my, yeah, here's my little arts buried, of course. I started this and then my son and Emma came over, and of course, that takes priority, right? So this big leaf here, it is from stem to tip three and a half, and about at the widest part, about two inches wide. The maple leaf. It's about two and a half by two. So just to give you a reference point, because it's always hard to tell online how big things are or small. So look at the detail on those. So pretty. And then don't they don't these don't cut those out, but you could also make this die set and cut out leaves as well. There's tropical ones. Very cool. So I'm excited to use those. <clears throat> I tried to organize this. Yeah, um, as best I could, so it won't take forever, but I got a lot of goodies, so. And I like to talk, so there you go. So here we go. I got a pack of these stencils, and they come with a ring to put them on. Um, so there's bees. Cute. Ooh. Is that a hummingbird? Yeah. Different birds and dragonflies and butterflies. Very pretty. Love this. Look at that. Gorgeous. More flowers, dragonflies. And good, these are five by five. All the dragonflies. Beautiful flowers like lilies. And look at this detail on this hummingbird. Oops, sorry. That gorgeous very nice Hawaiian type tropical flowers I don't remember what those right here are called but they're gorgeous butterfly and a rose I think it's a rose I'm not really good with my flowers just saying more flowers that's a rose for sure there we go I'll try to keep moving here that I love this one. It's a sunflower. My friend Gail from Crafty Mim. Check her out. She does great videos. She loves sunflowers. So there you go. <clears throat> there you go, Gail. Made me think of you, which is awesome. Look at that. Look at the butterfly detail there. Gorgeous. Another one. So pretty. Ooh, look at this big Hawaiian flower. These would be good for like signs or, you know, I really want to start altering things again and getting into all of that. And look at the detail on those wings. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So fun. So I got that stencil set. Oops, there goes the thing. Okay, and then I got a larger one that's like 10 by 7, I think, size. Some more of these, some basic flowers. Come on, I need to. Hmm. And these big guys, big flowers, kind of reminds me of the '60s. The sunflower. Wouldn't this be gorgeous on a little sign? Like I said, I started this, so some of them. Yeah. 
very, very nice stencils. I need to start using my stencils, right? I think that's it on that size. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on. Because some got tucked under this thing that's got it. Nope, that's it. Then I got a die that's a butterfly, so you get the base. Well, that doesn't show it. And then the top piece. Two dimensions. You can do colors. And I like this. Cattails. Look at that. Oh my gosh, for a pond. That's very cute. They also have, so I thought I'd try it. This, it's just a strong, strong grip mat. It can be used in a Cricut. So I'm going to give that a go. And again, everything will be linked below. Okay, moving on here. So then I just kind of put everything like things together in little baggies so it's a little bit easier to go through. And I got a set of artist brushes. 12 pieces. I like, of course, I like the blue, the teal. <laughs> but yeah, look at these. High quality set for fine arts and crafts for watercolor, oil, and acrylic. Okay. So there you go. Got those. I thought I would try Milky Colors gel ink pens. Let's see, I don't have dark. Oh. And they're click. Hmm, that's interesting. And they have tips on them to keep them. You got to take that off. Yeah. Looks good. So there we go. So it has a teal, a mint green, white, pink, lavender, and kind of a peach. It's almost like a skin color. 0.5 millimeters, fine point. Always fun to have little things to add detail. And then <clears throat> I thought I'd get these. Um, I got to order, choose what I wanted, so that's always nice. Dual tip brush pens. And there are 24 in there, watercolor, odorless. So meaning you can add water, you know, put them on a mat and do it, or blend them once they're on your paper. I keep picking the pink. I didn't, I just kind of randomly. So it's got the brush nib. Very nice. And a ooh, really fine tip. So yes, I'm excited about those. It's just fun to have a set like this that I could just, it's small enough that I can pick it up and go real easy with it. And there's all the colors on that side. Very nice. Kind of probably equivalent to um, like the Tombow type. Fine liner, colored pens, 0.4 millimeter. Wow. Vibrant colors. 36 colors in this one. And it's single tip. I don't get... Okay, I'm going to pick a different piece. <laughs> Let's see here. I'll do green. Wow. That, I don't know if you can see that tiny little tip there. So a lot of times I like to add lines. Say I'm doing those leaves and I want to add lines or outline it. And I can do that because it's a nice fine tip. Very fun. 36 vibrant colors. So I have not had any issues with their products as far as like their art products and things. They're pretty good. I've been impressed. Okay. Next little baggie. Let's see. We'll go paper. Because I need paper. Right? Oh my gosh. So these tiny little, let's see how tiny are these? These are so cute though. Two and a quarter inch by probably an inch, I'm guessing. One and a half inches. They're just little cards. Like I said, I'll probably do this in two, two um, parts for the crafts because I get a lot. And they come out like a little book. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I just thought for journals and stuff, I'm not going to show you every picture, but let's see here. So, oh, they're vellum. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, I really like this. Are they all vellum? I think so. No, they're not all vellum. Some of them are paper. But 
Some of them are vellum. Look at that. I just thought they were interesting, so I got it. gave them a go. Oh, look at that. Very pretty, so I don't know how many are in here. Flower manual. Carte postale. So check those out. They're adorable. And then I got these little, or here's another one. Let's see here. Thought I had everything open, but I guess I don't. Never prepared. Even if I try to be prepared, I'm still not prepared. So, kind of a 1920s goth, you know. Oh, look at There she is. Look at that old newsprint type. So, in the center are a bunch of little vellum and then paper. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this. This is really cool. Very fun. All right, so those, I don't get a copy of what I ordered. It goes to Timu. I don't have it like you do when you do an order. So just a look at this. Oh my gosh. And these are, that little box anyway, is a bit two by two maybe? One and a half by one and a half. Coffee grocery labels. Oh, and the stickers are smaller than the box. Okay. These are little stickers. So they are... I should keep putting it by the... Oh, about one and a quarter by... Sorry, guys. I can't use a ruler. By one inch. So and they're stickers. So you get these little food, seafood. So don't... If you're looking for coffee only, this is not it. I just thought these were kind of cool. Just fun to put in. <laughs> so lots of adver old-fashioned advertisements. Very cool. And there are, I don't know if it says how many are in here. Mo card. It doesn't say how many, but let me <laughs> fan them out. I really like, ooh, look at this one, sorry. Okay, so this is plantain coffee. So you just get, if you see my, lots and lots of little cute little stickers and the boxes to die for. I like the little coffee box. So there you go. Sorry, okay. Big fingers, little items, doesn't go well. Just for fun, okay, then. I got this pack, like a little journal card type thing. Can I get two inch by three and a half? It's a little over two inch. Okay, speaking of, so my dad, my sister, you know, me and my dad's stories, got back from her big trip. So that's awesome. Dad loves that. And she went and saw him and he goes, I can't get them to, she brought him an apple. And he goes, I can't get them to bring me an apple. I told them I only want one sixteenth of an apple. She's like, Dad, one sixteenth, it's not worth their time. Anyway, one sixteenth, not half an apple, not a, you know, it's just, they're probably like, yeah, no, that's not happening. So anywho, this is blues and yellow, which I think is sweet. What is that though? Are those look like a Pac-Man game. Sweetness, material, paper. It's paper, it's not material. So there's that. But yeah, he wants one sixteenth of an apple. That's not demanding enough. Oh my God. Let me probably let him know if it was too big or too little. It's like, oh my gosh, Dad. Quite the character, my dad, I tell you. But he's 99. He can do and say what he wants. Might not get what he wants, but he can say it. Okay. Ooh, this is gorgeous. So it has a belly band around it in vellum. Rumored flower letter. These are... Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay, there we go. 
five and a quarter by long by just about four, just under four. Oh, I love that it comes with a little belly band and vellum. Cute. Oh, but getting it off is a okay. Don't really want to ruin it. Okay, come on. There we go. I ruined it. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I guess I was feeling vintage that day when I ordered this stuff. And this is very thin paper, but almost a little textured to it. Gorgeous. Of course, I love that page. I'll just show you a few more. <gasps> Beautiful. Gorgeous. So here is what you get in that. So you can zoom in. There you go, ladies. Oh my gosh, I really, really, really like that. That is pretty. That is good. Okay. Another one. Same size. Kind of an Art Deco look. Same vellum. Still work usable. Kind of a retro. Some things I don't know that I ordered. They, I, a lot of times they'll throw in extra stuff. So I don't know if I actually ordered that or if they threw it. Either way, I'm good. Another one that size with this vintage look to it. And I gotta open it because I gotta take the belly band off so I can show you. And then I am gonna stop here after this one and come back and do some more. Okay. So there's this. Look at this. I just think it's gorgeous. Look at these. Very pretty. With the light pastels. Oh my gosh, look at the Paisley. Oh my gosh. For tea cards. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Oh, I am I love these. So these would be good on the front of a card. Alright, I am gonna come back and show you more. There will be a part two. Alright, see you in a bit. Bye.